This video is going to be straightforward. I'm going to walk you through how to send bulk emails using Gmail. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe for more videos. Without wasting much time, let's get straight into the video. Step number one is of course logging into your Gmail account. What we are going to do here is that we are going to compose the message we will be sending to our email list in bulk. We will get to the bulk sending part, but first you need to compose your message and save as draft. At the recipients field, we are going to leave that empty, meaning we are not going to add any email address. Next, add the subject of your email. So that is the subject for my email. Next, compose your message. Before I proceed with my message, let me explain the role of these substitutes. As mentioned earlier, we will soon discuss the bulk sending aspect, and that's when these substitutes will become crucial. For now, please note that these given name and family name substitutes will be replaced with the first and last names of the email recipients when you send out bulk emails. So let's wait while I finish writing my message. So that is my message I will be sending in bulk. When you are done, close the message window and it will be saved as draft. Now let's move to step number two. And for that, we are going to need Google Sheet account. So open a new tab and search for Google Sheet and login. We are going to use an add-on extension to send bulk emails using our Gmail account. But before that, you need to name your sheet first, and I'm going to name mine Make Money Online. For the add-on extension, click on Extensions, select Add-ons, and click Get Add-ons. The extension we are going to use is called Mergo Mail Merge, so search for it. Click on Install. Select the same email address you used to compose your draft email and proceed with the installation instructions. Now refresh the page. Click on this arrow to open the side panel and launch the Mergo Mail Merge extension. So first, click on Import Your Contacts, then click Import. After clicking on Import the email address, the given name and the family name will be filled automatically as you see on the screen. Under the Email Address field is where you will add your email list, and you can add up to 500 emails per account. If you want to know how to get unlimited email addresses, make sure to check out this video after watching this. I will leave the link to the video in the description below. Now back to the Google Sheet. After adding your recipient's email addresses under the email column, the given name and the family name field represents the first and last name of each email address. While it's not compulsory to add the first and last names if you don't know them, you can leave those fields blank. Now during the time I was composing my draft message, I first wrote these substitutes. The given name substitute will be replaced by the first names of your email list and same thing applies to the family name substitute. Like I stated earlier, it's not compulsory to call out the substitutes if you don't know the first and last names of your email lists. So I'm going to add a few email address for a test then we proceed. Well it's now time to send the email. To do that, click on Nail Merge. If you use the same email address to connect the Mergo Mail Merge, your draft email will automatically pop up. 
and if you have multiple email drafts, you can select the one you prefer by clicking on the drop-down arrow. I have only one email draft, so let's proceed. Next, enter your sender's name. Check this bar if you want to track emails opened. Finally, click Send Emails. If you check the merge status, the emails are being sent. Now let's check few of the emails if they have been sent. This is one of the email addresses I sent to, and it has been received. This is also another email address I sent to, and the email was received. If I refresh the Google Sheet, you could see that the two email addresses I opened has been tracked by the Mergomail merge. Again note that each email address can send 500 emails per day. So you can only add only 500 email addresses here. If you want to send more, you just create more email addresses and repeat the process. I hope you enjoyed this short video. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to this channel, like the video and leave a comment down below this video.